welcome to another episode of Madame Wesley. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at different maths questions and we're going to be working out how to answer them together. So what I'd like you to do is get a piece of paper and a pencil or a whiteboard and a pen. Once you've got that all in front of you, we're going to read through the question and I'd like you to write your answers on your board and then I'll let you know if you've got it correct. So first question. Fill in the missing numbers. So on this line, we've got something 15, something 17. And on this line, we've got 16, something, something, something 12. Okay, I'm going to give you 30 seconds to do this on your whiteboard. Okay, on the first line, as you can see, the number is getting bigger. So, what number comes before 15? That's right, it's 14. And what number is between 15 and 17? That's right, it's 16. Make sure you've put one and a six and not six and a one. Okay, and this number 16 is bigger than number 12 which means the numbers must be getting smaller. So we're going to count backwards. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. What number would go there? That's right, it would be 11. Okay, well done for working through your first question. You did a really good job. Now this one is called circle the odd one out and then we're going to explain why. I'd like you to look at these numbers and I'd like you to think about which one's the odd one out. When you've worked it out, I'd like you to write it on your whiteboard. Okay, let's go through the numbers. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 61, 17, 18. That's right, the odd one out is 61. Now underneath, could you write why you think that is the odd one out? So you might write, I think 61 is the odd one out because the six and the one are the wrong way round. If it had been the one and a six, that would have gone in the pattern. So well done if you got that one right. Right, let's look at our third question. Madame Wesley says, I am going to count to 21. I will start at 11. Will I say eight? Okay, I'm going to imagine counting to 21 starting at 11. You can do it with me. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Did I say the number eight? No, I didn't say the number eight because I started at 11 and 11 is more than eight. Well done. Question number four. Okay, this time we're going to be looking at a part whole model and the lines here represent 10 and the dots represent one. So here's the question. I make a part whole model to make the number 16. 
using tens and ones. Now on your board, I'd like you to draw a part hole model like this. And I'd like you to show me how you would make 16 using tens and ones. So I want you to separate your number 16 into tens and ones. And then write that here. I use six tens and one one. Am I correct? Hmm. What does six tens make? 60. Plus one, 60 add one would make 61, not 16. So what I should have done, which I hope you did at the beginning, is put one ten and how many ones? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one is correct. This one is incorrect. Question five. This time we're looking at the one less and one more than a number. And we've got two teen numbers here. So we've got the number 13 and 17. On your whiteboard, could you write what is one less than 13 and one more than 13? So one less than 13 is 12. And one more than 13 is 14. Okay, have a look at number 17, see if you can fit it in yourself. One less than 17 is 16. And one more than 17 is 18. Well done, everybody. Okay, on to our next question. This one says, circle the greatest number. So we have 12, 8, 20, 17. Now you can't circle mine, so on your board, could you write down the greatest number? Well done. The greatest number is 20. Now, in our next question, we are going to be completing the statements. So we're going to be saying which number is more and which one is less. And we're going to be using the greater than and less than sign. So which number is greater, 14 or eight? That's right, it's 14. Okay, on to your next one. Which number is greater, 5 or 20? Well done, it's 20. And on this one, we need to just fill in a number that needs to be less than 13 because this is larger than the number. So which number is less than 13? Write your answer down. Okay. You could have any number that is less than 13, but I'm going to go with seven, but you would have been correct if you'd put zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, or 12. Well done. Finally, we're going to look at our two times table. Before we start these questions and write the answers down, I want you to practice with me at home. Two. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Let's do it one more time. Everybody nice and loud. I want to be able to hear you. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Fantastic. 
this time I'd like you to write the question down and then answer it. So our first one is 2 multiplied by 4. So you're going to have to count in your 2s 4 times. 2, 4, 6, 8. Well done. Moving on to our next question. 6 multiplied by 2. How many times do we have to count in our 2s? 6 times. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Four multiplied by two. This time we're going to count in twos four times. Two, four, six, eight. And then finally, we're going to look at two multiplied by 10, which is the same as doubling 10, if you know the answer to that. So let's count in our twos 10 times. Two, four, six, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Well done everybody. You've done really well today. Thank you for listening to another episode of Madame Wesley.